after scrapping the impression, to remove all the excess material that comes into the tray, so that only two millimeters of the green stick is present all over the tray. Now, I will use the rubber base to take the impression. I have to apply two equal amounts. For the lower arch, I have to apply one and a half amount from the base and equal amount from the catalyst. The material should be equal in amount so that to, up, to do a proper reaction and have a proper impression. I will get my spatula. I will start mixing by taking all the material on the spatula like that and start mixing the material. The, the mixing should be in one direction so that no air bubble is entrapped inside the mix. The mixing time is about three to five milli minutes so that don't rush and don't be afraid that the material will set from me. After mixing the material, I'll take it from the base so that to be sure that the base itself, there is no material that is not mixed. I remix again, as you see with me, to be sure that the material is homogeneous. After mixing the material, I will take the tray, I'll spread the material all over the tray with me, as you see, on the borders and on the fitting surface. I can use the wax, the wax knife to just redistribute the material all over the borders. As you see, I redistribute the material inside the fitting surface and on the borders. Any excess material, you can remove it. You don't have to apply excess material inside the patient mouse. As you see, I distribute the material on the tray with me. I'll take the material and stand in front of the patient mouse. I rotate the tray. I insert the tray inside the patient mouse and I start border molding. Slowly and slightly. For the labial part, upward and inward. Buckle, upward and inward. This to buckle, if you have a hard time, just to ask the patient to close against resistance. I keep border molding the material until it starts to set. I wait until the material set by checking the material inside the patient mouse. Any excess material, I will check it to determine if it sets or no. As you see, the material is still soft. As I move, I touch the material, it's smooth with me. That means that the material hasn't set yet. It takes about four to five minutes until the material sets inside the patient mouth. Take your time while waiting for the material. Never to remove your hand. Keep holding the tray inside the patient mouth. Otherwise, it may move from its place and result in wrong impression. Every now and then, you can check the material. The material doesn't set yet. I have to wait. The material is still soft. Don't remove the material. As you see, I touch the material. It take my finger impression. I have to wait until it goes to the rubbery stage. Never to remove it early.
when the material sets, you hold the handle and you break the air seal and you remove the impression slowly. As you see with me, the impression is recorded with me. You can see the lingual parts on both sides, lingual alveolingual sulcus, lingual frenum, and the labial border. A little bit, there is pressure areas that are present in the labial part with me and at the labial, at the lingual frenum. This will mean that I have to mix crapping and retake the impression after that. Thank you.